That is beautiful. Riley just showed me his butt. You gonna have some hogfish? It's summertime and living is easy. Nothing out here apart from Atlantic Ocean. So this water here is just crystal clear. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna find a depth that I feel comfortable with. Cause I'm by myself, I'm gonna rig up an anchor which I can quickly pull a line on and drop if I see either good bottom or an actual fish. Hoping for a hog fish. I gotta feed the family. Wish me luck. On the moonless night no fire. You can't count on me. I'll be right there, what you desire. I got what you need. I got what you need. Yeah. In the dim lit room, in the smoky bar. That's where you'll find me when you come up short. I won't be too far. You can call on me in your time of need. I'm that easy out. <laughs> you can count on me. You can walk the line and take the scenic route. The dock workers are looking for mid career changes, and the newly retired are angling for what have come. <laughs> actually. All right, cool. Well, Lenny's just asleep, so I should probably hop off the radio. I'm going to wake him up. All right, cool. I'll be uh, I'll be home soon. Uh, what fish did you get? You'll see. Nice. Well, I can't say I'm too surprised to tell you the truth without fail this boy. How'd you get it? Hi. You were out for a while. Was I? Yeah. I knew it was going to be big. I could see when I was looking down from the surface and I was like, I mean, this is fairly deep and that still looks big. I reckon it's going to be a stonker. Awesome. After I got this guy, this loggerhead turtle was just coming straight at me. Do you remember how we saw them all surfacing out here, like really yeah, frequently? Yeah, it's like mating it? season or something. <laughs> it just came straight up at me and I had to tap it with the spear. Really? Have they got a beak on it that can bite a lobster in half? Yeah. I'm not going to let it kiss me. Wow, that is beautiful. Isn't it? <laughs> what do you think, Lenny? <laughs> is that fish bigger than him? It looks the same size. Riley just showed me his butt and it is like <laughs> bruised. So bad. Yeah. What happened to your butt? Well, I was hammering it. It's too rough out there for me to be in that tender. But you don't know that until you're around the point. Anyway, I was hammering it over big waves and like bouncy. It's like pretty oh, purple. No. Oh, I haven't <laughs> seen it, but it feels like it would be. <laughs> Your daddy's crazy, Lenny. He's crazy. <laughs> you want to show everyone your butt? Is that even allowed on YouTube? Probably not. Oh, 
Are you okay? Yeah. What happened? I just cut my finger. There's a big lemon or nurse shark cruising around eating the carcass of the fish. It's pretty cool. Can you see it, Lenny? Can you see it? <laughs> There's some beautiful storm clouds rolling past. I just love the like light blue water in contrast with those dark clouds. It just looks so cool. Oh, hello, my cuties. He's just done a little spew. Oh, you just had a shower, Lenny. Somehow I got some of my moustache hair on him. <laughs> what a day, hey? You happy? Yeah. We're up for dinner. Hog fish and salad. Yes, please. Can we do that nice, um, what do you call it when you rinse it in something? Salad dressing. No, for the hog fish. <laughs> oh, marinade. Marinade. Yeah, we can, can we marinate, marinate it? it? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. What do you think, mate? You gonna have some hog fish? No, that's, that's a, a grouper. Do <laughs> the hogfish. <laughs> so I'm marinating the hogfish in the bag we put it in. I just squeezed half an orange, half a lime. I kind of free poured the olive oil, free poured the soy sauce, sprinkle of cumin, and some coconut sugar to sweeten. So this is a sweet and sour recipe. I hope it works out. I haven't tried it yet, but I was inspired by a friend of ours who marinated theirs in citrus fruits and it was amazing. So I hope it turns out well. While Elaine is uh, cooking some food up there, I wanted to have a little chat about the fish and the whole thing and how I did it and what I was doing. So I went out and I went around there by myself. You shouldn't really dive by yourself, but there is just Elena and I and now with Lenny, I either go by myself or I don't go at all. So I had the anchor down with a quick release knot so I could quickly drop it. I was going along and looking for ground in about 20 meters, I guess. Certainly not much deeper than that when I'm by myself. What was happening was I was drifting over just a desert. So I jumped back in, burned off, would poke my head in and have a look around and just look for little fish that are around, bits of reef that are isolated, so sort of like oasises, oases. Once I found ground that looked fairly inviting, then I would either tread water or drop the anchor, and definitely if I saw a big fish. So when I saw the hogfish, I dropped the anchor and I went over and swam above on top of it. It was pretty rough, so I was having to do a decent breather on my way over to it before I went down. Hogfish aren't really very difficult to spear. They just sort of sit there. They're not a black brooker or like a dog snapper or something like that. They'll just sort of sit there, you go down, and you can, generally speaking, you can spear them. It's, it's finding them is the more difficult part, but there is quite a few of them here in the bar. There's nothing more tasty than a nice big hog like that. Like that is just ah, absolutely delicious. Very happy to in the morning go, I'm gonna go off and find a hogfish. The Bahamas is such a great spot for stuff like that. I'm looking forward to one day when Lenny can come with me. Real life is happening in a shallow depth of field. Right here and now it's what you see. It's delicious. It's my favourite fish, hogfish is amazing. The meat is so nice and white and just fresh. I love how pretty the fish are too and I love their personalities, like they're real chill. Whereas a grouper, I don't like eating grouper because they're like really stubborn. They're mean, I don't want to eat them. Lenny's still asleep. Yeah, is he going to sleep tonight then? He should do, yeah. Well, thank you for providing dinner. Thank you for cooking. We just love each other so, so much. much. <laughs> what would have happened if you didn't get a fish today? This vlog would have never happened. <laughs> oh, there's Lenny. Lenny, hi baby. Hi, come here darling. Come here. Come and 
minutes at the dinner table. I know. How you going, mate? Did you just wake up? I love him when he first wakes up. He like is reintroduced oh, to the world again. Oh baby, it's okay. It's alright. Hey, you just had a little sleep, that's all. He's alright. Well guys, thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. We put out videos every Monday, sometimes Friday, like this one. So, um, yes. <laughs>